Like back in the day, it used to just be photographs. Mm -hmm. Or a literal tape, like a VHS. Yeah, yeah it used to be right. VHS. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> now it's like, oh, I want to see how I'm really working him. Let mm -hmm. me rewind that back. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'll be at work. I'll be like, let me see what I did to him Wait, is that week. what it is? Because let me tell you, I don't, I don't, I'm not that knowledgeable about this whole sex tape thing. Me neither. So. You guys are really <laughs> so blowing my really mind like right now. you really like putting me on game. So. This is the thing. I said, I, I tweeted once I heard about that Mimi sex tape. I was like, you know, I got to get me a camera crew because I'm doing it from my iPhone. Exactly. And I'm not getting these good of angles. <laughs> right. So I feel like it was a crew. <laughs> it was professionally done. I feel like it was done. professionally it was done. Leveled. Because I look back at mine and I'm like, <laughs> the lighting was off. I didn't get that one part. It was too dark. But you know what I mean? But it was so boring. It was so it was boring. It was repetitive. I want my four ninety five back. Was it worse than the uh, Kim Kardashian Ray J tape? No. I, 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 well, I don't know. I don't think Are so. Are we grading sex tapes here? Oh my God. Mm -hmm, yeah. That's the last tape that I saw. You gonna learn today. One, two, three. Let's go. Are you ready? This ain't the radio. Sure. Are you ready? Let's go. The Street Report Podcast. He reps for the DMV to the full. Hosted by Easy. Mr. President. It, it is great to talk to you. Raw and uncut. I let your boys, Mr. Jay Z. DJ Cabot. What up, though? It's your boy, Big Snoop Deal Double G. Rocking out with my nephew, Easy Street. Easy Street. The Street Report Podcast. Hosted by Easy. All right, today's show, Power Pack, um, this show uh, is about sex. Who's ready to talk about sex today? I am. I'm definitely ready. You ready for sex? Yep. I mean, to talk about it? Yeah. So oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Did I just have a, a Freudian slip? <laughs> yes. Okay, today we are talking about um, the question that I posed on Twitter with was this. Is the sex tape for fame formula good or bad? In the studio with us uh, is a good friend of mine, Jerry C. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Of course, you are a calmness. You have a website. It's jerrycsexcom.com. Yeah. Also in the studio is Latanya Taylor, and uh, she's a sacred sexuality coach. Yes, I am. I want to know exactly what that is. What is that? I told her it sounds good. <laughs> y'all see, y'all didn't know each other, but I'm, no, like we really. Uh, I'm pretty sure y'all are about to be like <laughs> it's the sexual team. energy, you know? <laughs> right. I love it. You um, counsel families and married people about sexuality, right? Yes, mainly all women, mm -hmm. married or single. Okay. And um, yeah, we we blend in the spiritual and the sexual because most people separate it and keep it in boxes. Mm -hmm. I take it out the box, right? Because we all know that it's one thing. It's one thing, right? That's and that's not an easy process for a lot of women. So that's where I come in. Why do you say that? Because uh, of dogma, of beliefs, of the good girl syndrome. Yeah, that good girl <laughs> syndrome will put you in that box. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be an interesting conversation. I'm always being series. a good girl anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Death to the good girl. Yes. yes. So we are seeing um, a lot of sex tapes being made, and people are using the sex tape game to become famous. Um, we saw it with... Uh, Perez Hilton, she did it. Well, she was already famous, but yeah. she did it. We saw Kim Kardashian, but look at her now. Oh, she's, right. she's a mogul. Okay, and oh, no. uh, recently this girl named Mimi Faust on, uh, what Love show was that? Love and Hip Hop. Love and Hip Hop, of course. Mm -hmm. You know I don't watch these shows, mm -hmm. and uh, I did not view the tape. I, I did. The tape. I saw it. <laughs> April 21st. The whole, it was right. the whole we thing. We have two perfect guests for this show, <laughs> <Yeah>. Sharice. <laughs> now, okay. I didn't see the tape. The so whole thing. Save your 495, people. Save your 495. <laughs> okay, so people making these tapes to get famous. Uh, what's, what's your thought on that? Well, I think that um, it's, it's nice, but... I, th I think you have to consider who you are before you do that and who you're doing it with. I don't know that Mimi Foster is that relevant. Sorry, Mimi. But um, I, th I think it's important. So you're saying it's okay to make, make a sex tape? Well, it's... see, what I'm, the hesitation you hear is what I don't do is slut shaming. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard that term? Break that down, please. Slut shaming. <laughs> so slut shaming is a term in, in the industry where people uh, attack women for their sexuality. And I saw in Mimi's post interview, and she was a very clear mind and very okay with it. So if she's okay, I'm okay with it. But there are some people who use it or, you know, they end up in that position and it's from a predatory place. But she was very deliberate. So I'm okay with her 
choice, if you will. But slut shaming is when you attack women for any display of their sexuality. Mm -hmm. So what about self-respect? And, and that is the issue. So my judgment of what self-respect is and yours mm -hmm. is always, it, it could be debatable. Subjective. From any, from any position, particularly from a moral one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about the fact that, does she, does she have a child? A daughter. She a has daughter? a daughter. I mean, is that okay? You make a sex, sex tape and then the kid got to go to school and we saw your mom on film and she was getting it in. I mean, how do you, how do you navigate yeah, all that? That's I mean, the rub for me. Okay, Jerry. Yeah, I mean, I have a child and I personally have made a lot of sex tapes. I mean, they didn't get published by Vivid, but I mean, I think today's age, sex tapes are common. Just like when the whole thing went down with Chris Brown, next thing you know, there's new pictures of him and then there's new pictures of Rihanna. This is a way for people to snap back. I just think our generation is so caught up with technology like back in the day it used to just be photographs mm -hmm. or a literal tape like a VHS yeah it used to be right. VHS yeah. <laughs> now it's like oh I want to see how I'm really working him let me rewind that back you know what I mean sometimes I'll be at work I'll be like let me see what I did to him wait is that week. what it is because let me tell you I don't, I don't I'm not that knowledgeable about this whole sex tape thing. me neither so, man. you guys are really <laughs> so blowing you my really mind like right putting me on game so well, this is the thing I said I, I tweeted once I heard about that Mimi sex tape I was like you know I gotta get me a camera crew because I'm doing it from my iPhone, exactly. and I'm not getting these good of angles. <laughs> right. So I feel like it was a crew. It was professionally done. I feel like it was done. professionally it done. Was because I look back at mine, and I'm like, <laughs> the lighting was off. I didn't get that one part. It was too dark. But you know what I mean? But it was so boring. It was so it boring. It was repetitive. I want my 495 back. Was it worse than the uh, Kim Kardashian Ray J tape? No. I, 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 well, oh no, I don't think. Are so. we grading sex tapes here? Oh my God, mm, yeah. that's the last tape that I saw. I'll just admit Kim's that. tape, the Kim was K like, tape was the I, last tape that I saw. It was more real though. It was more real, but I feel like it was Ray J more than her. I don't feel like she that was took fun, it. Though, for yeah, a woman's, I don't feel like she took it there <laughs> sexually for all the hype that she's got right now. I don't feel like if that's the hype and you can become a millionaire off of what she did, then I should be a, bu a billionaire. Right, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> so let me ask you this, Jerry. You said you've made takes before and you have a child, right? Yes. So how are you going to feel one day when your child knows that, you know, hey, look, I made a sex tape? Um, it comes, if, if it comes, I'll have to sit down and explain to him. Mommy, you know, didn't make us, this is something mommy wanted to do. She didn't think it would get leaked and... I'm sorry if it embarrasses you, but I have to be who I am. You can't lose who you are right. because you have a child. And a lot of people don't want to do sex tapes or they don't want to do anal sex or they just don't want to do anything because, mm -hmm. oh, I have a kid now. Oh, I go to church every Sunday. or You know what I mean? Like, don't lose who you are because you're afraid of what people are going to think. Because I really don't care what people think, which is why, you know, I write the stuff I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's but the you. women I work with, see, they do it and then they say they don't do it. Oh yeah, I, they, they, I'm they vocal do, about what they I do. do. You, got sex the, you got the sanctified, right? Well, sex. some of them you got the sanctified sex tape. Is that what I you have to say, Sharice? <laughs> <laughs> you did. I have a good mix, but I totally agree with her. I tell all my mentees and godchildren that mm -hmm. let's sit down and watch porn because I would rather teach you and show you the what's real and what's WWF because that's what porn is. It's just WWF, in my opinion. Oh, it's fake intimacy. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. and there's props. So all of the squirting, all of the different things that women put them, them pressure on themselves to do, they don't. A lot of that's props. Mm hmm. Sharice, mm. go ahead. Question for the ladies. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> We just getting started. Woo, this is just the first segment. I know. Oh my what gosh. What are you doing? Well, I guess my question is this. Um, well, I already. I feel like I know what you guys are going to say, but this was the original question. Do you think it's okay to make a sex tape if you're when you're in a relationship? So you yes. and your significant other, be it married or um, you know a committed boyfriend girlfriend, yep. but specifically for married couples, I'm thinking, yep. isn't it something that married couples can use to kind of like you know, Spice add some excitement. It's, yeah. it's awesome. And I think you have to have a strong self-concept because you need to be able to look at what, how you look when you're <laughs> working it out. I'm not going to lie. When I looked at that, <laughs> that sex tape I did on the iPhone, I was like, dang, I need to hit the gym. My stomach right, right. ain't where it needs to be. You know what I mean? It, it's you the have reality. Do you your iPhone set up on a tripod? How are you pulling this off? I mean, you just set it up against that ashtray at an angle. <laughs> 
and rock as well. You know what I mean? You look back at it, it's like, oh, if you would have turned it, it a little bit more yeah. to the left. Yep. It okay. would have been on and popping. So, I mean. I'm taking notes. So, do you. <laughs> you already do you make a decision i mean hey look let's make a tape tonight or is it something it's that random this happened it, spontaneous. spontaneous it's really random i didn't say, has hey, anyone ever said to that. you hey look uh let's make a tape and you was like nah i ain't making a tape with you um or do you make yes, a tape with, or do you make a tape with any guy i would no, you gotta feel comfortable no, with who you're doing that no with. maintenance men yeah um, some guys they no way stations do it, do it. <laughs> I had this happen to a friend. She she didn't know the guy was recording her, and he yeah. started letting his friends watch it and stuff like yeah, that. So cool. I mean, we're gonna get to that mm-hmm. as far as the you know the download tape and stuff in a minute. Yeah. So save I all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, the decision to to, to even make a, a sexy. What is the criteria for you to decide? Okay, it's cool for me to make a tape with this guy. I think when you're in a committed relationship and there's trust, there's mutual trust, and you are totally comfortable with it which i think that's kind of the guideline for anything you do sexually mm-hmm. yeah. okay um for me i'm i'm not always in a relationship i'm single most of the time so it just with me the sexual partner that i might have i just have to feel comfortable with him if i'm not comfortable with him then it won't happen i'm, I'm anti kind of relationships so um i feel like you don't have to be in a relationship to have sex just do what you want to do i'm a free spirit so i just have sex whoever I connect with the energy is a big part for me so it's just on who I trust Easy Street alongside Sharice and our special guest here to talk about the uh, sex tape for fame formula you know is it working well we know people are getting paid off of it um, but just people's opinions about it and uh, in the studio with us is Latanya Taylor a sacred sexuality coach and also Jerry C Uh, her website is jerrycsexcolumn.com Sharice go ahead for the ladies Okay, so question for the ladies. Um, what things are off limits when it comes to the... Making a tape? Yeah, you That's know... That's a good question. Yeah, because it's different. You, you, There are a lot of different things that you can do in the bedroom. You know what I mean? So how do you... And I guess it's an, it's an individual thing, but um, are there certain things that you guys feel like, okay, that's a little bit too off limits for the camera? I think that totally is up to the individual. And and it's going to vary from woman to woman. Yeah, I just think um, I really don't like the off-limits topic. I don't like to talk to anyone who has an off-limit policy because I feel sexually you should be whoever you want to be. You know what I mean? It's not really on what people think. And Mm -hmm. a lot of people just think it's always about what someone thinks. You know what I mean? If it's between you and that guy or two girls or whatever it may be. Leave it between you two. No one's going to know what you did unless you blab your mouth. You know what I mean? So Mm -hmm. do whatever you want. You feel comfortable doing. You know, one thing before we move any further, someone listening to this show, I just want to let it be known, we are not condoning that people go out and make sex tapes. I just want to say that so people won't think, oh, you guys are doing a whole show, teaching people how to make the tape, telling them how many minutes they're supposed to do it, telling them the camera <laughs> angles and all this stuff. No, no, no. How many megapixels? We, <laughs> we're not trying to teach you how to do it. We're not condoning it. We just want to give you information about what's, you know, what's uh, uh, being said, and um, you do with the information whatever you'd like to do with it. I, I want to ask this question of Latanya Taylor. Um, of course, you go around to churches and you speak to women uh, married and um, single about, do you guys talk about sex tapes in well, the actually, discussion or what? My, my website is uh, rebirthinternational.net. And so I have an online program um, called Juicy Spirit, right? Mm-hmm. And so I work with women um, in a six months rites of passage process, if you will. So I, I do speaking and I do workshops for groups and for uh, individuals, I do personal one-on-one coaching, but I actually have a program to take women through several of their energy centers to learn how to unlock them so that they are more orgasmic, so that they are uh, more open to express their sexuality. So yes, I talk to women, I talk to, to, um, I even talk to uh, young girls as Mm -hmm. well because the way that I don't go in teaching abstinence. I believe that if young people know who they are and that they have self-love, that you don't have to shame them or guilt them around Mm -hmm. sex. And so they'll make 
whole, uh, better choices for how they use their body and who they use it with. Mm -hmm. um, do you ever get any flack? From because any pastors minister. or ministers or reverends when you go to churches and you do coming this? up in the body of Christ <laughs> I'm in the sacred place talking well, about what? this my the flack that I get is quiet you know how I know is they talk to me in private you know ministers have their own codes we talk in private and they're some of the most freaky people on earth right <laughs> but <laughs> but what they I do. I wouldn't know. I mean. Easy, your baby <laughs> is Right. Well, so what they do is they won't like certain things that I post, mm -hmm. but they'll see me and they'll say, or well, they oh, jump I into that inbox. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or I, I saw what you posted. And the, the men love it. You know, and we, I have a group of pastoral friends that are very open in, in their conversation about sex. So sometimes we have to tell the male ministers to loosen their collar when we have forums, when we're talking openly, mm -hmm. because they give BS answers. And people want to know real stuff, because if not, they go back and have the same issue. Mimi Faust made this sex tape, and now she's attempting to become famous from making the tape, and I, I guess she's doing okay. I'm hearing that she actually goes to these different events and she's clubs. She's getting hosting gigs. Yeah, and, and she yeah. takes the shower rod with her. Oh <laughs> now, I didn't... See I, I'm not really up in? on what, what's up with the shower rod, but I, I, I guess it was part of her video. Is that it what it is? It was part of the movie, but I was disappointed when I seen the scene because I thought she was actually like no. riding him uh -uh. in that scene, but he's just lifting her up and That's she's all. holding on. She, it was it, they're not even on. having any sexual contact was, on that part. Right. So and, I was disappointed. In her post interview, she even says, like, don't try this at home because, you know, what's his name? Nico is strong and yada, yada, yada. So hmm. it was pretty interesting. There's a lot of bloopers on YouTube of people trying that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what about photos, though? I mean, is there? do you differentiate uh, between the photos and the video, or is that? I definitely do. Why? Because, you know, when, when I was, I have a significant other now, but when I was dating, like, dudes would send you a, you know, how much do I have a to send DP. to? A DP. Yeah, DP. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, in a heartbeat and that's to me it was a turn off for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so there would that for me i would screen and filter who i shared anything with although i have pictures to share <laughs> yeah dps are so easy to get i remember one point I, that was a dating requirement if you wouldn't send me a dp i what? wouldn't go on a date <laughs> I swear to you, I wouldn't date She's you. So dudes clear. would really? send me. So you asked the guy? Yeah. You asked because I don't want to waste my time. If it's not something that's my requirement, then why waste it? So what about his mind? What about his spirit? What about his, his mind heart? is cool, but I mean, you know, Did you ask sexual... to see those things or you just wanted to see that? <laughs> that I would be me. See, you know, because <laughs> I just put it this way. Sex is a big part of a relationship. And if it's not where I needed to be, then let's not waste our time Is the here. sex more important than his heart and his mind? Ah. <sighs> Keep it 100. I don't, I, um, depends on what day you ask me. One day I'm like, oh, I want to be in love, and I'm watching the notebook, and then the next it's like, I need to be banged. So, okay. I'm depends. asking you the same question. Yes. Mine, by, yeah, that mine heart is very important for me. Is it it's more a, important than the other parts? Um, so let me say this. <laughs> Man, that was a good question. Mm -hmm. Wiggling around. <laughs> On, I'm one of those chicks, like, Set, we, I won't be in sexless marriages and sexless relationships at all, right? Mm -hmm. But um, who I share my energy with is very important to me. Very, very important to me. And, and, and even in my being free as a, as a woman like and being sexual, there are a lot of brothers who are not free. And a so lot. when you... <laughs> what do you mean by not free? So here what I, here's what I mean. <clears throat> Anybody can have a one night stand, right? But if you don't know yourself sexually and how to express yourself, it's boring. It's like, it's no need to return to it. Mm -hmm. So that's why now, I always say the more free you are, there's still even more discretion in my opinion. I'm more selective mm -hmm. for who I want to share that with because I know my body, I know what I like, I know how I want to you know, do things. And there are a lot of in inhibited men. They talk sex, but they don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of talking. Oh, really? There's a lot of talking with men. And then when they get you in there, they've talked all week about how they were going to tear you up and you'd be begging for more. And then as soon as you get in there, it'd be two minutes and they'd be out for the count. 
So, man, please stop Mom, talking about Mom. it. That's a whole other show. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we should talk about that one day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to talk about this whole new concept. There's a new law that they're talking about in different states. Um, it's called revenge porn. Revenge porn is when you've made a tape. Right. Or you take made a video and you got beef with somebody. And you guys break up, and they decide to post it on the internet. Easy Street, Sharice, Trending with Easy, and we're here with Jerry C. from JerryCSexColumn.com, and also LaTanya Taylor, uh, Sacred Sexuality Coach. And what's your website again? RebirthInternational.net. Okay, and before the break, we were talking about revenge porn. And uh, we pulled up a couple articles about what this is all about. And Sharice, go ahead, share. Yeah, so this actually happened in Maryland. There was um, a girl who was a victim of revenge porn, and she went to the police, and they were basically saying there was nothing that they could do for her. And after some uh, some lobbying, um, she was able to get some support, and the House and the Senate unanimous, unanimously passed, and the governor signed a bill making revenge porn a misdemeanor with up to a year in prison and a $500 fine. And it went into effect on October. October the 1st of 2013. Wow. You know, this is a brave new world with the internet now. We didn't have this problem five years ago. And so now laws are being enacted. Um, revenge porn, of course, is when you're with somebody and you guys are all, you know, lovey-dovey, everything's all good, and you're making tapes or you're uh, taking photos, yeah. and then you guys break up. Then somebody gets mad, so you put them on blast on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter with the video or the photos. And a lot of people are experiencing this problem right now. Go ahead. That's exactly why I'm selective, because of that type of thing. And, you know, young people don't oftentimes don't, don't use um, the wisdom that you have after you reach a certain age. So if you are young, dumb, and full of... <laughs> you you tend not to make the best decisions. So I wouldn't even recommend sex, sex tapes to people who are still experimenting with themselves. There are some girls out here can't even wipe themselves, much Ooh, less. Girl. No. Yes, Sorry. I said that. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 that was I, I thought you were picking it, it up. That was you coming. Um... I think the law is a good law because it's actually just happened with someone that I know. They, Their baby mama sent them a photo of them doing something to a man, and he got upset, and he put it on Facebook. And that, I swear, it brought Facebook back to life because I don't even log on there anymore, but it brought okay, me back. So let me, let me get this right. So one of your girlfriends? It wasn't my girlfriend. It was, well, it was a female friend. It was a female friend. Okay, I just got to be sure with you because you never can, you know, it could be, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a female it was a female friend. Sent a picture of her doing something to her current boyfriend. To, to her ex. ex? To her ex. And her ex got mad and put it on Facebook. That's she kind of asked for that though. That's Not to say that crazy. he was right to do that. He wasn't right, but, she but tried I it. would never do anything like that. I the never seen that thing. many comments on Facebook before about it. He would not take it down either. And I, I've seen something similar on Facebook because there are groups. Where people share. Oh yeah, these groups get the, crazy. Yes, yeah, they got a revenge they got, porn group now. No, no, no. no. they, they have sex. undercover sex groups on Facebook, and, and they and get I away actually, with a lot of stuff. I'm in it's some in groups the group. that that are not low. I call it low vibrational, just porn willy nilly. They're they're sexually free and very spiritual, and they post this stuff. But guess what? People go irresponsibly share, mm -hmm. and then they're they're horrified because you can share things like that, or you can download it, mm -hmm. and screenshot. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I and, screenshotted and, and, that picture. I sent it to my girlfriend. I sent it. I was like, look at this. Yeah, because that's look all it happened. takes is one it's screenshot. one one screenshot. And there was big fallout about that. And the reason why I don't recommend it for young people is because if they don't know what their career is. You know, there are all ty types of background checks that are happening right now. It doesn't matter how free you are. If it doesn't match, if your freedom does not match your income stream, you might want to not consider <laughs> Slow it down. It's, yeah, Slow you it might want to be an entrepreneur. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you said that because, I mean, you make a sex tape and you decide five years later you want to be in the FBI or you want to work for the CIA or you want to work for a Department of Justice, or you want to work at the Pentagon, but you got a sex tape out there, you got photos out there that everyone has seen. How do you navigate that? 
you won't. It's <laughs> you just, won't. It, you just won't. So it's like Las Vegas. You're gambling when you do that. Mm-hmm. Now they are doing background checks in colleges on your Facebook page before you can even take the bar exam. So if you, and also for accounting firms, high, uh, high, high end corporate accounting firms and some executive jobs, they are, they are checking. And we think that these groups are private, but they're not really private. And Once I'm, it's on the internet, it's not, it's public. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, public. It's, it's a public record forever. Because even if it gets deleted, somebody could have taken a picture of it. Right. So it's never. So I mean, you're really gambling with your future in, you know, uh, to me, it looks like from the outside looking in, you are diminishing opportunities for yourself because you may want to become more. At right. least that's what you're supposed to be doing. But right. you're putting yourself in the box when right. you make the tape and it gets on the Internet or you take the photos. Yes. Do you I, talk about that I've in your sessions? S- I have seen it. I talk, definitely talk about it in the groups that I'm in if they're receptive. If they're young, a lot of times they don't they don't see long term. This generation is very different where they see right now the present moment today. They don't look further. Um, but yes, I do talk about it because I'm familiar with social media because of my, the other things that I do in my profession. I think um, in the world that we live in today, and I'm sure there's some historical context to this too but sexuality and sex has become you know almost like criminal especially for women like Mm -hmm. if you're too sexy then people have negative things to say Beyonce has been like a big topic of conversation for her last album and how like sexy it was it seems like a sex tape can be something that's used to kind of like allow women specifically to embrace their sexuality right. and not be so scared of it. How does mm-hmm. that topic show up in the discussions and conversations that you have? Well, I think that sex tapes have to come after the woman is already comfortable with herself and she is comfortable in her bedroom first. I, I don't think that she should jump into it. A lot of times um, women do things for the, their, their lover. They want to please their lover. And the very first rule of pleasure and sensuality is to own your orgasm. And so let, if I always start at the base for women and in terms of their confidence, their inner conversation about sex first. But if you're just jumping into it willy nilly, I deal everything I deal with has to do with intention and universal law. So if it if the intention does not align with the action, then anything can happen. Jerry, you have the website, jerrycsexcolumn.com. Yeah. Do you give advice? I haven't given advice on sex tapes because I didn't, I don't see it as a big deal. So I didn't even tackle it, but I do give sexual advice. Mm-hmm. But I, not, I haven't tackled sex tapes. I thought about it, but then you called me to do the show. So I was like, I'll wait until after to write about this just to see your viewpoints and see what you guys think about it and, you know, come up with something for people to read. But. She's right. I don't think young people should do sex tapes. Um, I was just applying for a job and I asked, oh, you can apply for, for the job with your Facebook profile. Like mm-hmm. you can apply to jobs with your Facebook profile because they want to see all of that That's information. The mm-hmm. That's the new resume. That's the new resume. It, it kind of shocked me. Yeah, we've been and said that uh-huh. for two, two years. Yeah, <laughs> it's the new resume. So, I mean, if you're going to be on social media, take a, a page out of my book and switch your name. <laughs> don't I really do I switch my name up I don't make it Jerry blah 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 I'll put something different and my friends and family will know it's me but you know just to kind of have your privacy back a little bit you want to be on social networks but you don't want to be in the public eye to the point you try to get a job with the FBI and you can't even get a job that's insane because of your personal life it has nothing to do with what you do at work well they think it's a character issue yeah. Well, the, the universities, yeah. the employers, yeah, they definitely. think if you were out there living this lifestyle, then possibly do we want to bring that type of lifestyle into our workplace? I think for, Is that fair? It's, I think it's legitimate that, you, that do you have discernment about how you display and share your privacy? Because even if the, whatever people do in the back room, if you don't know how to uh, have some decorum, then I, I think that that companies have a brand and they're trying to manage their brand um, in all fairness to general companies. However, the culture has a double message about sexuality. 
Um, so that's the real issue. And that's what I get to in my work is the real issue around the message about sexuality, period. Sharice has comments on Facebook and Twitter at Easy Street on Twitter and also on Facebook. Search it out, too. Yeah. So we asked a question on we asked a couple of questions on Twitter, one of them being um, for men and women. If your significant other asked you to do a sex tape, what would you say? And Miss underscore Locke said for me, she says no, no Facebook, no Instagram, no booty shots. OK, maybe one, <laughs> but save it in the computer. And that's all. Um, Cognitive Ninja said um, in regards to Mimi's sex tape, if is helping to get other if it's going to help women to get put on by doing a sex tape he says not with that lame piece of footage that she put out that they're trying to call a sex tape <laughs> right um queen one underscore of a kind said um no nah, not about that life but if i did it would be with my husband not someone that i'm just dating um underscore at Cadillac underscore Queen said, um, yeah, that's a good one. Yes, because I'm completely comfortable with him and it's always fun to see what you look like. And then last comment was from a young lady who says that it's okay to do it because she always likes to see herself and what she looks in, like in the mirror as long as there are no copies and it's not shared and he watches it and then deletes it. I've heard of that before. Which people one? making the tape and then deleting it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that something that you pass on to your clients and tell, advise them to do? Or If they are interested in making a tape, yes, sure. Try it, then delete it, then try something else later. It depends on whether they're into watching themselves or watching porn or something else. Maybe they want to try what they've seen. Um, people have a wide range of things that they're interested in actually doing, not just normal, everyday mm -hmm. sexual positions, if you will. So, sure, let me ask you this. So do mm -hmm. you think that like the Internet and Twitter and Facebook and social media is very popular because people feel like they have a voice, that they have a say, that they feel like they're kind of like a star? Yeah, they're, they're, they're Internet Does the sex tape thing also give you that same that same high that oh man i'm a star i think it does for especially for mimi because she's not that famous and i think she thought it was going to take her to kim's level i just think kim just has a really good manager who knew how to spin it you right. know what i mean i think <laughs> it's not about making a sex tape it's about your management team right and that's what i think the average everyday joanne and joe need to be mindful of if you don't have a publicist and you just it's you just gotta put money behind mill, it. Right. You have to they put was money coming for Mimi though, saying that she was too old because she's forty-five making sex tapes. Well, yeah. I is there an age limit? That's, that's my question. <laughs> I thought that was ridiculous. In reverse, I think it is. Yes, I don't think teenagers and really young folks should be doing it. Okay, but older people, it's okay. There is no age limit for mm. if two fifty. 55 year old individuals get, want to it, get in. it in. I don't want to see Gramps it. and pops. <laughs> get it in. I, I don't want to see I it, but find sure. out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be disturbed. <laughs> oh, well. Now okay, that's so another conversation. She came in and um, um, she, at LSI asked me, um, would I do it? This is in response to the question, fellas, if your girl came to you and said, let's make a sex tape, would you be down? And she asked me, would I do it? The answer is no. I would not do it. If you're asking, you probably have motives. Here's why. Here's my reasoning. Because of who I am right, mm -hmm. and what I believe. I believe that the same energy that you put out there is what you're going to get back. Mm -hmm. So if I create a sex tape and it would get out there and people saw it and, you know, I don't know if I would uh, be happy with that kind of energy about myself getting out there because, you know, then you start receiving. Right. And I'm trying to go in a different direction with my life as far as. Um, I don't want to say my sexuality, but um, how I control my sexuality. I don't want to live uh, where my sexuality is in control of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I know some other people have different ideas, but for me, I control my sexuality. My sexuality does not control me. Right. That's the way I've been taught, and that's the way I want to live it. Yeah. So Respect. Yes. Yeah, you got to respect that. So the answer is no. He said well, no, ladies. Me, on the other hand. <laughs> I just kind of feel like um, if I was in a relationship with my husband, you know what I mean, and we wanted to try something new, I think I would potentially, because I can act a little scared about some things, and I want to 
you know, be flexible in my relationship when I get to that point. So if he asked me and we determined that, and we're married at this point, that this is something that we're going to do to spice up our relationship. We're going to Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. We record a tape. We watch what it. What happens in Southeast stays in Southeast. <laughs> <laughs> we record a tape. Yeah. <laughs> and we do it, you know, delete it. And it was just an experience. It was fun. I don't think, I mean, after this conversation, because before having this conversation, I was definitely like, no, not doing it. <laughs> But I think I would probably do it with my significant other. And if it was yeah. just for us, I wouldn't feel like, you know, a porn star. Mm-hmm. I would feel like a, a glorified wife. Would you do it easy if mm-hmm. you could, if you had a significant other and you controlled it? If I could delete it afterward, I would consider It's in that. your yes. possession yeah. because yes. of who you are. So you're not prudish. No, I'm okay. not. All right. <laughs> and let's clear it up. You know, let's, let's, I've, recorded my, just, I've recorded myself. Okay, cool. I think at this point in time, everybody has probably Everyone a recording. Everyone has done this. Has right. recorded themselves, you know, but that delete has to happen. I mean, because mm-hmm. if you, you carry those things around and right. somebody gets your phone or you lose your phone, or Anything. someone breaks into your house Anything. and grabs all your tapes. Yeah. Or the, kid, all kinda. or the kids trying to play Subway Surfer on your phone. <laughs> right. And yeah. then they, they like, Ma, what you doing? Yeah. Your, your nose is soft now. <laughs> yeah, so if I'm going to do it, I'm going to be smart about it. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to just be. Yeah, that's how I would rock it. Yeah, because I got too much to lose at this point. Mm-hmm. People be trying to find any little thing. They be Googling anything. you. Like, Y'all see Easy Sex Tape? Well, the good thing. all over Twitter. <laughs> the good thing about Easy is he could pull a Mimi move, right? He could just use it to take him to the next Publicist. level. No. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because that's the level that I do not want to go to. You know, and I'll, here's what I mean by that. To me, it's like individuals that make these tapes that do it for the money shows me that they worship the money that the money that the money is the main reason why they do it yes and we already know from a spiritual standpoint for the love of money we already know right what that means Mm -hmm. yeah if you do anything for money i mean you're really putting yourself in harm's way I, from a I spiritual think, standpoint. And also, you you putting yourself on blast. Because yeah. back to what, what Jerry said, the, the techniques and skills were just average. I mean, why put that on tape? If you're going to put on put something on tape... You better be the bomb, you right? Need you got to be the bomb. <laughs> you need to go and do some stuff, you know, and bring that to the... Bring it to the table to the point. The, I'm calling my girlfriend. Girl, like, girl, oh, right, like, I want to... do. do I want to do that. I want to do that. So is, do you make plans for your tapes? I mean, do you have a script or do you already know what you no, want to do? I, I mean, I don't she take lives it that. It's just a freestyle. I, she it's lives a, it. It's a freestyle. It's like, it's okay. It's like we're doing something. It's like the camera come on. Okay, we'll do a little 48 second video. Right. It's not like two hours long. Right, 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 but it's kind of like when it's you go real, out I'm to a I'm just curious. Home. I'm just no, curious. But I think, not that I know, I'm speaking from experience, but what I think is this, knowing me and my personality, if the camera turns on, like, I'm definitely going to have to turn it up and not. Yeah, like, you, you do can't, turn up. Yeah, yeah you're you not going to be oh basic God, yeah. and yeah, you know there's a camera there. If like, you see the Mimi tape, it's basic. Okay. No, but I turn up. I turn up once. I noticed that the camera was on. I, oh, yeah, I got crazy. It's honey. like when you yeah, go out. You're going to get a show. You're going to get some drama. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wow. I'm just curious. I mean, hey, because yeah. yeah. when the lights come on, action, action, get <laughs> right the club. Yeah. Wow. This has been a very interesting show. You know, we're out of time. Uh, Jerry C. Um, her website is jerrycsexcolumn.com. Also follow on Twitter at Jerry underscore C. Okay. And the Tanya Taylor. Uh, sacred sexuality coach and where can we find you rebirth international on my website rebirthinternational.net facebook um rebirth by latanya taylor and on twitter rev coach ceo that okay was <laughs> thank you so much for your uh, thank you your insight on this subject i think that uh it was a great show and uh, i learned some things me too i'm gonna email my testimonial once i get married and no, I become that. No, you're gonna come to Juicy Spirit. Yep, I'm gonna do that. You're gonna come to Juicy. We're gonna turn it up. <laughs> Juicy Spirit. Listen, what is that? the husbands love Juicy Spirit. It's they when lo- you get they you, love you me. Learn how to be a sanctified freak, right? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can Take you that be can you be, can, you, can, you, can you be can you be single and come to this oh, Juicy? No, thing? It's totally for all women, not just for okay. for married women. I'm not. I'm totally interrupting the, the theological dogma. 
about sexuality. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can find out more information about that on the <laughs> website, rebirthinternational.net. That's our time. Keep that third eye open, one love. Peace. You have been informed. The Street Report is a podcast that primarily focuses on African American culture and a whole lot more. Make sure you subscribe to The Street Report wherever you listen to podcasts, whether it be on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, Stitcher. Please hit that button and subscribe. I'll be dropping a brand new podcast every week. You might want to turn on your notifications. Also follow at Easy Street on Twitter and Instagram. The official website for The Street Report is easystreetshow.com. The Street Report podcast is being brought to you by, produced by, engineered by, Sia Multimedia, a digital production company specializing in podcasts like this, social media strategies, and online social media commercials for your business. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Sia Multimedia or visit our website at SiaMultimedia.com. That's C-Y-A Multimedia. Dot com. See you, multimedia. Making sure all eyes are on you.